in this month's edition of Young Eagles. We're taking a close-up view at the teeth of the Army Air Corps. It's the Apache. The Apache helicopter is the Army Air Corps' the most potent fighting machine. It is primarily designed to hunt and destroy tanks and armoured vehicles. And it carries an impressive mix of weapons, including rockets, Hellfire missiles and a 30mm chain gun. And it's currently deployed in Afghanistan. The Apaches have been in service in Afghanistan since 2006 and the person who played a key role in the introduction of the Apache into the British Army was Britain's next astronaut, Major Tim Peake. And Hugh and Joe met up with him earlier this year. As a test pilot, he clocked up over 3,000 hours flying Apaches and he was given a four-star commendation for his work. So how did it all begin? Yes, well really it started when I went over to the uh, USA as an exchange officer. That's where my interest in the Apaches first started and I gained a lot of experience for three years uh, with the Americans. And so when I came back to the UK, uh, it was just as we were starting our Apache program back here. And so I started instructing the very first instructors themselves and then later on the first squadrons. Can you remember the first time you flew an Apache? What was it like and were you nervous? Um, it was, I wasn't nervous, I just thought it was absolutely exhilarating. Fantastic experience. It was over in um, Fort Rucker in Alabama, and um, the first sortie was from the back seat, the pilot station, where you sit up nice and high. And I just remember flying out over Alabama, um, over all of these sort of alligator-infested lakes, and uh, I just thought, this is absolutely incredible. It's a dream come true, because it was an aircraft I'd always wanted to fly. Was it a proud moment when the first squadrons were deployed? Very proud indeed, and I think you know everybody, not just in the AMTAP, but here at Wallop, and everybody who's been involved in, in getting the Apache program up and running, um, was very proud to see the first uh, squadron deployed out to Afghanistan. And as I said, you know, perform extremely well. It was quite clear that they uh, they'd all had extremely good training. They were thoroughly prepared for the job, and uh, and they did they did the Army Air Corps proud with uh, their activities out there. So the Apache is now playing a key role in the Army Air Corps and it is also a favourite with spectators at air shows where it appears with the Blue Eagles display team. And at a recent Family Day event, I met up with Captain Tony Thompson, the Apache display pilot with the 2009 Blue Eagles team. Right Callum, so you're interested in being an Apache pilot, are you? Maybe. Well, the first thing you've got to learn is what everything's about on the aircraft. So let's have a look around the aircraft and um, if you can remember most of it by the end, I'll let you sit in. Thanks. Right, this bit here, that's the target acquisition designation site. It is basically a way of seeing the enemy from long distances. One it's like side a of radar. it. radar. It, it's not like a radar, no. This is a vision. Is this it is like heat vision? It, it is like heat vision, excellent. Do you know when you see the police camera action video? Well, it's a little bit like that on this side. It's there to find the bad guys in the day or in the night. And it can see times 38, so you can actually see them from quite a distance. The other side has a sight on it that sees times 127. It can see for absolutely miles. And you can pick up the bad guys uh, six, seven, eight kilometers away really easily. So could the missiles f fire that far? Absolutely. The laser in the front of here, just in there, will designate the bad guys, and the missile will hunt for the end of that laser using a little code and it will hit the top of the laser which should be on the top of the bad guys. Um, underneath there there's armour underneath the, the seat for the cockpit uh, and that's why it's a very heavy aircraft there's a lot of armour on it. it. Must have powerful engines. It has very powerful engines. Uh, over 2300 shaft horsepower for each engine. Rolls-Royce engines extremely powerful and actually better than the American models. So what's this gun under here? This is a 30 millimeter cannon it's uh, driven by hydraulics and it can fire 650 rounds a minute and we carry 1160 rounds. 
It can fire up to 4,200 meters, and it also can slave to your head. So when you get in the aircraft, you borsight your eye to the aircraft, and then you can look around, and the gun will follow your eye. Wow. So you just have to look at something, and with the correct range, pull the trigger, and you will hit your target. Wow. And uh, these rockets, we have several different natures of rockets, and um, we have a point detonating rocket, which will literally fly, and when it hits something, it will blow up. And different types of rockets for different jobs. The missiles, Hellfire missiles, these are probably the best anti-tank missile in the world. In so that will opinion. go straight through a tank? This here will defeat any known armour. It will fly out to eight kilometres, and as we discussed before, it will follow the laser spot that you're designating, or indeed your wingman's designating for you. So when was the Apache actually invented? Oh, that's a, that, that's a very good question. It probably started getting invented and started on the drawing board in the 70s. Um, and the Americans took the Apache on board mid-80s, and the Army Air Corps took it on board in the, uh, in, in the early sort of 2000, and one was probably the first time you'd see them flying around Middle Wallop. Now I've been flying one now for about um, seven and a half, eight years. Looks really heavy as well. It is heavy. It uh, weighs in total, if it's fully laden, about 23,000 pounds. So it's a lot bigger than the Lynx. It's a lot bigger than the Lynx, it's a lot heavier than the Lynx. Would you like to look in the cockpit? Yes, please. Let's go. Which seat would you sit in? I, I sit in both, actually. As an instructor, uh, I bounce between each seat every day. Which one's the lead pilot? It's a good question. Actually, it can be both seats. Generally, most of the flying is done from the back seat, and generally, most of the weaponeering is done from the front seat. But both seats can uh, mix and match a little bit of that. So the armour here seems to be a good three or four inches thick. Well, it's certainly thick enough to be able to stop quite a heavy bullet or a heavy round. Yeah. And um, you know, protecting the pilots is really important because they take a long time to train. This is known as a glass cockpit for obvious reasons. There's a few TV screens in there, isn't there? Yeah, and a bit different to the Lynx. It looks quite clean at the moment, doesn't it, compared yeah. to the Lynx. However, once the aircraft starts up, those screens uh, have many pages behind them. And just like a computer, you can select different pages and move into different areas of the computer system to be able to operate the aircraft. It's amazing. It's a busy cockpit, and it's quite a busy aircraft, and it takes about six months to train. So, how old are you now? Um, 11. If 11, well, if we start you now, you could be done before you're 12. Cool. <laughs> I just can't see over. No, oh, well, we don't worry about that. I'm sure we can get you a booster seat. <laughs> well, the Apache certainly looks impressive, even just sat on the ground. But let's have a quick glimpse of it in action in a Blue Eagles display. We'll be catching up with the Blue Eagles again in a later show, but next month we'll be visiting the factory where the Apaches were made. So come and join our two guest presenters, Isabel and Jake, as they go on a special mission to find out how to build a helicopter. <laughs>